temperatures outside. Let me. Not 70 degrees. That's pretty good. I took my garbage out. Not only, I only uh, fill half the garbage up in a week. So, if I forget a day, it's or if I forget a week, it's okay. But if I forget two weeks, I'd be fucked. When they first started taking my garbage, I filled it up totally full with shit tons of fucking garbage. And the guy I actually watched when he came to get it, he like pulled on it. And I was actually standing here watching him and he yelled over at me. He's like, hey, this fucking thing's too heavy. I'm like, sorry, dude. I'm like, you guys ain't take my fucking garbage in about three years. That's about three years of garbage right there, dude. I'm like, sorry. <clears throat> I don't know what the fuck's going on. I did turn my fountain off. I don't need to run all night, I guess. Let's look at it. It's nice and wet. Let's look at the water, see what that looks like. You know what, I bet it's gonna get hot in the fucking sun. Oh, there's something in there, what's in there? Oh, cat hair, nice. Oh, that could be raccoon hair for all I know. Let's look inside of it. Oh, yeah. I don't know, I feel stupid for buying it now. I guess the idea of it is cooler than the actual fucking item. I do know one thing, this circle I cut is like perfect the circle. Yep. I just noticed something really cool about my mimosa tree. Let me show you. The leaves curl in. I've never noticed that. The leaves curl up at night. That is totally insane. I'll have to show you in the daytime, but look, they curl up, but they flay out real big. They'll flay out. But I had no idea the leaves curl up at night. That is incredible. I mean, look at the the curling on that. That is incredible. I hear a zombie. <sighs> I hear a zombie. I hear two zombies. Let's get to the... shit since that one zombie I saw a zombie the other day and I'm like look a zombie's there. Next thing you know it comes over in my driveway and then it, I go to my door and then they're like oh sorry it's like yeah they know they're saying because they know they're fucking with me and then they knew like I was gonna fucking get pissed because I went to my door and they're like oh sorry it's like, then why did you fucking stop here, dumb bitch? Why are you fucking with me? At three in the morning, oh, you want to pull in my driveway at three in the morning to fuck with me? For no fucking reason. Like, what? why is your brain so fucking broke?
You fucker. Let me show you something. That is a stink bug right there. I'm gonna try to deal with his ass. Knock his ass down. Where the fuck he go? Yeah, he's somewhere now. Fuck. I fucking hate stink bugs. Where the fuck did he go? Fuck you go, stink bud. I wanna squish you. You fucker. Oh, I see a slug. Okay. Any more stink bugs? I fucking hate stink bugs. I hate them because they actually will eat your food. You know, what's interesting, there's two tomato plants in here, and I actually planted those late. There's two tomato plants. Wow, they're growing. That's not a stink bug, is it? What is that? This one grew late, and actually, this plant here, I had thrown over there in the weeds, and it started growing anyway, so... This plant is not a happy plant. Let me tell you what, there's something wrong with that. All the leaves are curled up, so it's not happy. Something ain't happy. This one, uh, it's so heavy it bent the fucking uh, tomato steak. I need a bigger tomato steak. Check them for stink bug. That's a nice fucking tomato right there. I need to make some fried green tomatoes. See, look. I used cheap dirt on this, and look. It's just burning up. This plant, cheap dirt, won't fucking grow for shit. It does have tomatoes. Won't grow for shit, though. I like inspecting them for bugs since I got them in buckets. I bought new buckets for next year. Why is it so foggy? Oh, did I close everything up? Yeah, let me see. No, it's all wet. Shit. It's really quiet out. Except the zombies drive by. <clears throat> Whoever installed these windows did it wrong because, uh, look, I'll show you. See, there's the mold. What is that? The molding or something? Or I forget what you call this, but see, you're supposed to put the window in the fucking frame against this, and then you put this over that lip. See, there's a lip here. You're supposed to put the window against this. That lip is supposed to be here. Then you put this molding over the fucking lip. If that zombie fucks with me, I'm going to be pissed. A bunch of uh, bees. Oh, okay. We'll show you here. Look in there. There's a fucking bunch of bees in there. See them? There's a bunch of bees in there. Stick your finger in there. See these wasps? 
I mean, there's a whole bunch in there. Oh, there's one right there. Some kind of bee. I think those are ones that turn animals into zombies, or I mean, uh, other insects. I hate particle board, but it's actually holding up pretty darn good. I guess if you don't get it too wet, it does hold up. Particle board is an easy way to take shitty trees and actually turn it into some kind of lumber that you can use. But it's pretty shitty stuff. I hate it. But see, they take trees that you cannot really use for lumber and they cut it down and then they turn it in the... This is plywood. And I think they put these gaps in there so it can expand a little. But yeah, whoever put these windows in, I think they did it wrong. I'm not sure. I could be mistaken. But I'm pretty sure this here is actually supposed to be against this. And then you take your molding and you're supposed to put the molding over this lip. I could be mistaken, but I think that's how it's supposed to be done. Anyways. I hear another zombie coming. <laughs> Two of them. Uh, I'm not sure if zombies or not. Probably not. Uh, there's something out in the road. Uh, it's really foggy. There's fog everywhere. Well, that fog over there is like lit up. It's weird. It's like fog or something. And I got one bird feeder to fill. Let's check all the bird feeders. See how they're doing. I might have to hang it. That one's a fourth full. That one's totally empty. That one's halfway full. Okay, I don't need to fill that one. The fourth one I kind of need to fill, but I, I think I just need to go ahead and hang up another feeder or something. Uh, you know what? I might hang it right there. Right up there. Right about... See that fork right there? I need to hang it right about there. Well, here's my fountain. I don't know. the damn fucking thing. There's an ant on it. Uh, my cat died. My grandma, my grandpa died. And my grandma. A lot of fucking shit dying lately. I got premonitions the zombies might fuck with me, and if they do, my life's fucking over, basically. 
My family starts gang stalking me. My sister moved here from, she didn't move here, she's still fucking three hours away, but she used to live in Vermont. <clears throat> she moved the fucking uh, closer down here, and now she's talking about moving back. She just moved down here to fuck with me, stalk me, fuck my life up. I guess nobody cares anymore. I don't care either. I don't know. <clears throat> Should I work on this thing? Well, it needs an oil chain. Well, actually, I need to get the the gears turning. Oh wow! I don't think those gears will ever turn with the way that looks. To be honest with you. Fuck. I don't know if there's a way to turn that. No. I'm gonna sit on the toilet for a minute. Oh, I think I got a fart. I just have a bad feeling. cat he came for two days and then i don't think he needs to eat all the time i think he'll when he gets real desperate and hungry he shows up and has me feed him but i have to see him in order to feed him i can't just set the food out that attracts raccoons so i can't just set it out and hope he gets it because then the raccoon shows up Well, I got four things of coffee there. That's good. Let me set them all together. That's some good coffee storage right there. What other coffee do I got? I got one bag there. I guess that's it. Got a bunch of canned food. I wonder how much I used to buy that for. I really wonder. Maybe it was $2 a can. For a long time, they didn't raise the price. I kept buying it. They finally raised the price. They, I don't know what they used to charge. It couldn't have been a dollar. It must have been $2. Well, now they want two fifty. So if it's only two fifty, that ain't much more. I don't know. I, I want a drink, but it ain't doing anything for me. It's just making me feel sick. Oh, you know what? My fucking uh, cramp went away. That's good. Uh, maybe that pill finally helped. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. What a dumb song. What are 
where the squash is. I got squash. I should replant them, grow a bunch of squash. I think we got three or four months of growing still. Surprisingly, so I could probably fucking still grow shit. Fuck. I don't know. Maybe I should. So what's wrong with that mower? Uh, it needs the gears unlocked. How can I do that? I put a brighter light in my room. Just for the hell of it. It's totally brighter, though. Holy shit. I got enough room for two lights. I could put another one in, but nah. It's brighter. Ooh. I should put that in the bathroom. You know what? I think I might do that, because actually... No, I guess not. This is cool. I totally recommend this. You can buy these at the dollar store for a dollar. And dude, these are fucking bright. And for an emergency light, that's pretty fucking nice. I'll tell you what. I don't want to waste it though. I'd buy more if I could and just stick them around. And then in an emergency, you can just flip them on. I'd say just stick them next to every light switch. And in any emergency... If your power goes out and you need light, well, at least you have a light light switch right next to your light switch. Or whatever. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Give me that. Let's set this over here. Okay, we're going to... Blah, blah, blah. How much shit is there? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a, a poo poo, a doo doo, poo poo poo, doo 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 doo. doo. Nobody do 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 nobody do 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 Sale only allowed <sighs> weird North Atlantic Operating Company. Huh. Made in Spain. Made in India. Huh. Intriguing. Made in Spain and India. Huh. The 
product is made in Spain, the packaging is made in India. Well, Spain is uh, better than India, so. Yes. Good. I wonder what's all in here. I got the duty in the back. Come out of my crack. Lean up on my horse. Take the doo doo off my porch. You can fuck a horse. Dude, this stuff smells fucking badass. What the fuck? Damn it, dude. Man, she what? Hi, do not sub me, dude. My fucking things fucking glued shut. This shit's too fucking dope. Damn, holy shit. What the fuck? This shit's too dope. Meow, no, I'm using the bathroom. Did I leave the light on in there? Oh, sorry, kitty. Cat's trying to sleep. I accidentally left the light on. It's blinding it, and now it's meowing at me. Like, he left the fucking light on. Fucker. Yeah, it fucking glued shut. I gotta figure out how to clean that. Damn, dude. I don't even smoke that much. I don't know what else to do, so I figured that maybe I'll do this. <laughs> I used to have to smoke more to try to calm down all the time, but I don't really need it as much anymore. Man, this shit smells good. Season's even been alive. Sorry, hold on, doing stuff. if I really like that song so overplayed and kind of dumb and 
I mean, it's got a little bit of a good sound to it or something. I don't know. It's a little funny, but it's just so over fucking played. She's got to have low self-esteem to be with that guy. I don't know. Because he really plays off people's lack of self-esteem. He feeds on that shit. That's why he's got... And then he tries to say he's helping, and it's like, you're helping. It's kind of an interesting scam, but...
See what the hell you're talking about. Okay, you said. Okay. So he basically admitted the stalking without admitting the stalking. I already done fucking knew that. That's okay. Oh, wow, you're a stalker. Wow, that's so unique. Whoa, I've never seen a stalker before. Whoa. <laughs> wow. A stalker? Oh, that's really rare. Oh, hey, no, everybody thinks they're a stalker nowadays, dude. Wow. Whoa, you're going to stalk me. Oh, my God.
Oh my god, I've never been stalked before. Maybe you should act like Justin and make fun of my dead cat. And talk about how you want my dad to die or something fucking dumb. Why don't you come back and tell me more about how you're stalking me or whatever? Ooh, we're stalking your S22, blah, blah, blah. Now, if anything, it just sounds like you're jealous that I have an S22 and you don't. Or that you had to go buy an S22 just because I bought one. Sometimes those buggers just don't come out of your nest, so you gotta grab them with some fucking Q-tips. Watch. Let's see. Look at that booger. Zoom in on it real close. Yeah, there you go. See, this guy, is, it's just so dumb. He's like, I'm going to stalk you. It's like, that's just every dumb zombie. That's all they ever do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stalk you. It's not even me. They say that to everybody. I used to think I was special. And that they were only stalking me sometimes. Nah, that's what they do to everybody. I'm gonna stalk you. Oh, you have an S22. I'm gonna stalk you. Oh. See, let's. He got you from your S22. Oh my God. I'm going to stalk you. It, that, it's just so pathetic and sad. that That's just the, the normal knee-jerk reaction of every zombie is they're just like, I'm going to stalk you. I'm going to stalk you. You're stalking me. Ugh. I'm going to stalk you. <laughs> no. I'm 
I've never heard that before. Oh, you're going to stalk me? Oh, wow. I'm going to stalk you. Ooh, wowee. You're going to stalk me. Ooh, wee. Oh, we got your S22. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, wow. Tell me more about how you're stalking me. Man, that That's... I, that must mean you're a good, nice person. Yeah, and, yeah because... You need to justify a reason to stalk people. So you got to love bomb them for a year to figure out how you're going to stalk them, right? I guess I should be intimidated. I'm not intimidated. I think you're sad. I think a lot of you are try-hard dumb fucks. You're not going to do shit. And if you try, that's going to be very laughable and funny. And I'm not even really going to discuss it. Because I'm, it's going to be funnier than anything. Please fuck with me. Thank you. I guess I should be intimidated. Ooh, some dumbass is gonna stalk me. Oh, he's got my S22 or some dumb shit. Oh, See how they, um, I, what? He's like, that's how he. See, what did it even say? He got you from your S-22. Okay, tell me more about uh, how you're stalking me, you know. Oh, you got my S-22? Oh, my God. Um... So, t <coughs> tell me more about that. I'm stalking your S22. Okay, tell me more about how you stalk people and uh, go ahead and brag more about how you're stalking my S22. Now, you want to come in and try to brag that you're stalking me, but, you're, but you, you want to do it real uh, shadily and you want to come in and try to intimidate me. Like, I'm stalking your S22. But you, 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 you're not brave and smart enough to really say anything about it. You know, I, I don't know what to say about it. I mean, that's, that's pretty dumb. Go figure, you know. That's why the whole time you were love bombing me, I was basically exposing all the shit. That's probably what eventually fucking triggered the shit out of you. As I'd sit there and expose all that shit. All I ever did is talk about fucking zombies and stalking the whole fucking time that you were fucking stalking me and love bombing me and pretending like you're my friend or something. Which is hilarious because I, you know, it's fun to expose that. You dumb fucking cat. Stop! Quits! Get the fuck out of here. You don't knock yourself out. 
He jumped up on this counter and tried to pull everything off the counter. Just stay out of there. Well, they said most narcissists, the way they get like that is they're extremely abused by their parents. That's one way you turn into a narcissist. Because they call it nature or nurture. It's called nature or nurture. Well, a lot of fucking uh, narcissists are abused by their parents. And that's how they end up being narcissists. Trust me, they probably know him better than anybody. And they probably don't like it either. I was wondering when they'd come in and try to say something about my phone. You know, I saw them talking about it already. So I wondered when they'd come around and start saying something about it. I'm sure to see they have to brag about it too. See how they like they have to come in and say something about it. You know what I mean? And then they, they can't just openly say, oh, we're stalking you. No, they got to come in and drop little, um, cl little tidbits or whatever. Because they're not going to go, oh, we're stalking your phone or something, you know. They got to say something fucking dumb or something, you know, I don't know. Because they know stalking's wrong. They obviously... The, see, the guy obviously knows that stalking's bad. So he, he feels some amount of guilt. 
not enough not enough to not do it but enough that they need to hide what they're doing and and they want to brag about it but they know that if they just come out and go yeah we're stalking you that would look bad so they're like well we got to brag about it without bragging about it because if we brag about it that'll that'll make us look bad but we still need to try to brag about it. But we can't really say anything. So we're just going to go, oh, we got you from your S22. Okay, here, let me let me put it in layman's term for other people. That, that basically means they're bragging about stalking me. Or they're trying to say they're stalking my phone. Or they're bothering this or that. You know what I mean? That's, that also means they're trying to intimidate me and all this shit. But they can't just come out and go, oh, yeah, we're going to intimidate you. Yeah, we're stalking your phone. And No, they have to drop little clues like and brag about it in a real pussified bitch fucking way. Oh, we're going to get you. We're stalking you, but we can't really. We want to brag about it, but, oh, my God, we can't just totally openly brag about it so we're gonna stupidly drop little fucking clues that make it obvious for everybody to see that that's what they're fucking doing but no they can't just be a fucking man and open openly fucking admit that they're a bunch of fucking creepy fucking retard losers that have nothing better to do than to stalk people and play victim they need to start fights play victim because that's what narcissists do is they attack people and then turn it around and make try to make them look like the bad guy. Which I appreciate the opportunity to show people what these people are like. So please come back and tell me more how about my S22 and how you're stalking me and you're afraid to fucking say anything about it. Yeah, we, it's, I know who, who you are there, dumb fuck. You see, before you go to your uh, proxy, you go through a stingray. The stingray is before the proxy, dumb fucking ass. It's how dumb you are. It's not after the proxy. It's before it, stupid fuck. So what? You're using the Stingray proxy to then access a different proxy. It's like, oh, oh. it's not working so well. Don't worry. They can't tell you that because apparently there's a lot more going on. And all you're actually doing is part of a stage three fucking operation. Which the, the end goal of that is to completely destroy everything and kill you. So you're basically committing suicide. You're, sh you're like literally shooting yourself in the foot and then going, does this hurt you? It's your fucking foot, dude. That ain't my foot. That's yours. I don't know, they're just so fucking goofy and dumb. And here, like, Seasons is like, oh, narcissism gives you advantage. And a, an advantage of what? Being a fucking piece of shit? That's no advantage, I'm sorry. Yeah, good, it makes you a better compulsive liar. It makes you better at uh, manipulating and shit. Those are uh, evil tactics. The truth is the best weapon ever. You think lies are an advantage or something. I'm sorry, but it's not. You kitties. Get out. Are you hungry? Maybe that's what's wrong with you. Here, I'll feed you. Get down. If you get down, I can feed you. Get down. 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 I'm going to feed you. 
I don't know if they're hungry or what. And we'll put some more dry food in your bowl real quick. Nah, you're just, like, really fucking dumb. Nah. That sounds like some kind of weird projection. It's just some kind of weird reverse projection you guys sound like you're doing. Because there's a lot of that they do. They do this weird reverse projecting bullshit. I don't know. That's just. That's why I don't know. Now, noodles, I know it's fucking you, dude. You're fucking retarded, dude. Just shut the fuck up. Coming in on your dumb fucking sock account at 12. 44, what do you, can't sleep there or something? The fuck's going on? What do you, did you wake up to take a shit or something? Is that why you gotta go? That's called psychosis there, buddy. Or some kind of gaslighting projection. I don't know. Oh, poor kitty. You're making me forget about feeding my kitty. Okay. There's only one person that talks like that. What, there's no other live streams that you can go stalk there, dude? Couldn't find nobody else to stalk right now. Or are you just making your rounds? Trying to just bother people with your stupid, lame-ass, dumb-ass, fucking made-up shit. Trying to intimidate me and shit. I dare you to fuck with me, dude. You ain't fucking with shit. You're not intimidating me either. At best, you're trying to fucking intimidate me. And I'm sorry to tell you, but it's not working, dude. Please fuck with me. You are not intimidating me. Please fuck with me. Make my fucking day, motherfucker. I ain't scared of you or your stupid shit. And at best... That's that's all you're trying to do because you ain't going to fucking do anything else. So basically you're a fail. Try harder. You think you're the only motherfucker trying to intimidate me? You think you're the only dumb fucker I've ever dealt with in my whole fucking life? That's why I think everybody's a fucking zombie because they're like you. They're all just a bunch of fucking zombie narcissist fucking stalkers 
wow, I've never fucking seen a stalker before. Holy fuck. Oh, duh, oh. You're retarded. I just, I don't understand. That's the most retarded as shit. And the, the best, you're, it's either just literally pure schizophrenia or you're trying to project some shit or f frame some shit or something. And it's just, I, I just don't even see how in reality any of that makes sense, you know. The only sense it makes is n either way you look at it, no matter what tactic you're doing, you're just a piece of shit. Whether you're trying to project or intimidate or frame or whatever, that just makes you a piece of shit. Whoa. Holy fuck. So you're basically proving because there's there's no logic, reason, or common sense to whatever the fuck you're doing. Nothing you say is based in any fucking reality. So that's either psychosis, schizophrenia, or that's a tactic to try to intimidate me. So none of those tactics are any good, period. That's not good person tactic. That's not a tactic a good person would use. That is a degenerate, low-life scumbag, you know, loser fucking tactic. And the only reason I ever mentioned noodles today is I was talking about his coat that he gave me. That's fucking it, dude. That's it. Because I, I was like, look, I got a coat. And I'm like, oh, yeah, by the way, noodles coat, this or that. The fucking coat he gave me. That's all I've been really fucking talking about. That's the only reason I brought anything up is I was talking about the fucking coat. But no, you, you want to fucking act all f fucking retarded. You know. Yeah, you're just, it's just more tactic. Oh, wow, you, you did a tactic on stream? Wow, great. I Are you impressed? Do you want like a prize or something? Do you want like a little trophy that says, oh, wow, what an amazing tactic. Here you win a you win an award for best fucking liar and best loser fucking tactics. <clears throat> I hope people actually believe that shit. I hope people believe all your fucking lies and all your deception because you're not hurting me with that. You're hurting those loser dumb fucks who are gullible. So good job. You proved that your audience is a bunch of gullible fucking losers. I hope that satisfies you. What, so what are you proving in getting your audience to believe in a bunch of lies? That they're intelligent people? 
Because intelligent people don't believe in a bunch of lies. So good job. You fooled a bunch of dumb fucks. No one cares. And I hope they believe it. Oh my God, my ego's hurt. You hurt my ego by trying to fucking lie about me. Oh my God, it hurts. Oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Everybody hates me. <laughs> Wah. You're, you're fucking dumb. Keep fucking with me. I like it. Make my fucking day. Fuck with me more. Because you're, you're fucking with the right person now. I know who you fuck you are, by the way. I'm not fucking stupid. I know how you talk. I know how you are, and there's no one else like that. You are a very unique piece of shit. I know. D did you wake up to take a shit, or what's going on? You can't sleep? Something's wrong? Itchy skin? D did you wake up, take a shit, and while you're taking a shit, you felt like sending me harassing messages to try to intimidate me? Are you, is tomorrow like a holiday? Are you off work or something? What's going on there? Did you get fired from your job because you were replaced by a Mexican? No, you got that union job, don't you? Don't worry, unions are cheap as fuck too, and you will be replaced by a Mexican. And he'll probably be just as fat and as dumb as you. And he'll work for half the money. Because in Mexico, they work for about 50 cents a fucking hour. That, that's probably good pay there in Mexico. That's probably like $50 an hour in America. So... Take whatever you're getting, cut it by half. That's what they're going to pay your replacement. I can't wait. They took our jobs. That's what you're going to be saying. Just like that fucking... Uh... Dude, 11 million fucking Mexicans have crossed the border. Do you have any idea how many fucking people that is? Go ahead and count to that. I'll wait. And I can tell it's you because you have, you have, your narcissism gives you extremely bad psychosis. And you, it's either that or you're just trying to be a piece of shit. And try to, you're trying to uh, lie, you're lying. I'm not lying. I don't know what I'm doing. That's the story. That's the story, and I'm sticking to it. So I'm not lying because that's that's the plot. I came up with the plot, and I'm just telling you the plot. I'm not lying. Yeah, shut up, dude.
don't you have uh, some retards to go harass or something? Because you're not intimidating me. Because I, I want you to fuck with me. Fuck with me. Make up more lies and bullshit about me. Maybe maybe some, maybe some your retard audience will fucking believe it. And I guess I should feel bad when that happens, huh? Yeah, I know who you are. You're retarded. So make more lies about me. Please. Fuck with me more. I like it. Maybe I'm a little masochistus or whatever the fuck they call it. Misogynist, or no. I think that's uh, men that hate women. Oh, I might have a little bit of that too, but anyways. <laughs> Yeah, I do. Because no one else gives a fuck but you. No one cares about your lies. Everybody knows you're full of shit. Like I said, what'd you have to do? Get up to take a shit or something and you felt like fucking with my live stream? Good, keep fucking with me. Make up more lies about me. Spread more rumors and, and fuck with me more. What do you fucking think you're going to gain from that? Do you want a fucking like trophy that says you're a fucking loser? Or no, you want it to say you're a winner and you're the best and all this dumb fucking shit. Okay, we'll get you one. I'll go and buy a $5 trophy and go, wow, you're the fucking best, dude. Are you going to feel better about yourself? Yeah, I'm so off. Says a, a degenerate. Mm -hmm. Good job. Make up more fucking lies and shit. Maybe somebody will give a fuck. It probably will. There's a lot of fucking dumbasses and gullible fucking retards. Maybe you'll finally get one that... I don't know. I don't know what you're trying to achieve, but I don't know. You might achieve it. You might accomplish your your goal. I don't know. Talk more shit about cupcakes, I guess. Whatever. Oh, my God. You got me. Holy shit. Maybe you should be like Justin and talk more about my poor fucking dead cat and tell me how you want my fucking dad to die or some shit.
Maybe that'll make you feel better about your life. It's kind of sad and pathetic that you have to you have to spend so much time and effort and fucking with me when what are you accomplishing me? Good, fuck with me. I think that was the point all along that you have actually missed. Hey, I... Hey, I'll go ahead and disclose to you a secret. Hey, this whole thing's been a ploy. Just to get you to fuck with me. Oh, you were stalking me to, and, to try to find dirt on me. No, I hate to tell you. It's the other way around. Well, I've had a guy stalk me, Justin, for 10 fucking years just to make fun. The only dirt he could ever fucking get on me was my cat died. Oh, wow, you fucking got me. Wow, it's pretty sad and pathetic that you wasted 10 years of your fucking life just to make fun of a poor fucking dead cat and tell me you want my dad to fucking die. Wow, you really fucking got me. Good job. Stalk me for 10 more years. Maybe you'll figure out, maybe you can justify your stalking better. Because you sure in the hell can't justify the first 10 years. But you'll, you'll, you'll justify the next 10 years by talking about my dead cat. Good job. You really got me there. Holy fuck. Totally busted. My cat died. Oh my god. By the way, how can I send harassing messages if I don't have your phone number, dumb fuck? That's how fucking dumb you are. Yeah, you gotta go back to bed. That's right, because you woke up to take a shit. Have fun at your fucking job. Bye. Thanks for playing. Have a nice day. Come back and play again sometime. I don't even know what to say. It's just sad and pathetic, and that's just the state of the world we live in. And thank God for that. What are you accomplishing? You think there's... You think that don't affect you? <laughs> yeah. 
You think your own stupidity and bullshit won't come back around to bite you? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Nobody else is as dumb as that. What, is there no other body live streaming to go harass? What, Wingstar's not live? You're not going to bother her? No, I guess I'm the only live motherfucker, so you got to come bother me. Bother me some more. Maybe that's the goal. Here, let me tell you a secret. Hey, that might be the secret. Oh, I shouldn't have told you my secret. But, I don't know, a lot of these people, they're so dumb. You could tell them the secrets and they're too stupid to notice. Because why don't you Google, can the narcissist hear you? Can the narcissist see you? And then see what it says. Maybe Google narcissistic love bombing. Maybe Google narcissistic gift. Maybe Google narcissistic joke, joking. Narcissist makes jokes. And you know why you're like that? That's, that's involuntary. You don't stalk people because you chose to. That's an involuntary side effect. from the body snatcher zombie virus. So you're doing exactly what I want. I want you to be a zombie. I'm glad you stalk people. Yeah, you're trying to intimidate me and then uh, lie about me to try to make me look bad. Like I give a fuck. That's either, uh, some kind of tactic you're trying to use or, or you're trying to intimidate me. That's it. And both those tactics are dumb and shitty and only dumb and shitty people would use such tactics. Not good, honest people use shitty, dumb tactics like that. It's not called good person tactic. It's called stupid, dumb, shitty fucking tactic. Okay, you called yourself an idiot. Good job. Like, I give a shit. Okay, you're calling yourself dumb. Good job. I still don't believe it. Be a man and admit to admit. See, you know you're guilty. You know why you can't admit? Because you know you fucked up. That's why you feel the guilt. You know it's bad, but yet you still do it anyways and try to act like you're a good, morally correct person. If it was good and morally correct, fess up. Admit to it. You can't admit to it because you know you're fucked up. You know it's a bad, dumb move, but you're going to do it anyways. Are you doing that because you made that choice yourself? Or maybe you're doing that because maybe that's what I want you to do. Maybe you're m more of my puppet than you have any fucking understanding. Maybe I'll pull this string. I'm the puppet master. You're my little show. Like, da, 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 da. dance for me, puppet, dance. 
Dance for me, gay boy. Dance like a gay boy. Prada bag, Gucci shoe. Dance for, dance like a gay boy. Dance for me, gay boy. I'm just pulling the strings of my little narcissistic puppet. Let me pull this string. Let me pull that string. But we're definitely not going to pull the string where you admit to your guilt. And you can't love, narcissists can't love anything, and they don't love themselves, they have malicious self-love. So they, they got that ego trip, they think they're the best, but really they fucking hate themselves. That's why it's so easy to, to, um, trigger a narcissistic injury. And that's where the narcissist will go from covert narcissist to overt narcissist. And plus, when the narcissist is stalking you covertly, they're looking for some way to justify their stalking. Like with Justin, it took him 10 years to, to go overt. He was covert stalker for 10 years. Now he's overt. And what triggered him to go overt was my cat died. Yeah, whatever makes you feel better. If talking about cupcakes makes you feel better, I hope you feel better. Get better soon. Too bad, uh, I don't think narcissism is a curable illness. I don't think it's even treatable. It's not treatable. It's not curable. You're fucked. You're gonna die. A gigantic flaming piece of shit. And everybody knows it. You're going to have to suck the tapeworm hanging out of a retard's ass the rest of your life trying to act like that you that's somehow makes you a morally good person. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's why you need retards for narcissistic supply. And it's actually pretty pathetic that the only supply you get are from mentally challenged people. You're not getting narcissist supply from well-to-do people. No, you got to find the most easily manipulatable fucking retards to get supply from. And then to try to convince and coerce them by showing them your fake fucking, oh, you called the cops. Look at this message zombie fucking sent me. Maybe you can convince some retard to come harass or stalk me in, in your favor, right? That's the whole goal, right? Is to get people to stalk for you. You you don't want to stalk. You want to convince somebody like Rick to stalk me. Well, I don't know. I guess uh, I hope that works for you. Yes. Here, I'll show it to you. Right there, buddy. Actually, in fact, I'm going to drink some of this right now. Sure.
sure will. Maybe you can copy me. Some more. I'm going to make a pina colada. You want to see? There you go. I'll tell you what else. I can sell my S22. Go buy a different phone and just not tell you what phone I buy. And then that'll make it harder for you to lie about how who sends you messages. You won't know what the fuck phone I got. Will you? Then you'll look really fucking stupid when you try to 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 uh, intimidate me. You'll be like, "Oh, you sent me a message from this phone. Oh, I don't have that phone." You're gonna have to lie harder next time. By the way, this is not the newest model, so. I might go buy some totally random fucking phone. I, I know what. I'm not going to tell you. Because then you'll, you'll, you'll know how to uh, try to frame me or whatever. With your stupid fucking dumb shit. I don't, I don't have, if I don't have your phone number, how could I send you messages? That is how fucking dumb you are. So whoever sent you the message must have your phone number. Well, who has your phone number? Only you know that. Sounds like you're lying. Mm -hmm. Or option B is, sounds like you already need a new phone number. But you're not going to do that because you know you're lying. You know why you don't need a new phone number? Because you know, you know you're lying. Okay, why don't you change your phone number? Because you're lying. You're a liar. So you're trying to intimidate me with lies? How does that make any sense? It doesn't because you're retarded and insane.
I think at this point it's an obvious lie. Because why don't you change your phone number? Because you you know that you're lying. That's why. You know you're fucking lying. Dumb shit. I hope you make more lies up about me. I hope people believe those lies. Because it hurts me that people believe your lies. Maybe you can convince one of your retards to stalk and harass me. That seems to be your, your goal there. By framing me or showing your audience. Why did you need to show an audience anything? Why did you need to show an audience your lies? Because you need to recruit one of your retards that are easily manipulated into stalking and harassing me. Cool. I can't wait till you convince a retard what you've already have done. How did that go for you? Didn't go so good now, did it? I don't know if it went bad or not, but what did you really accomplish with that? Couldn't have been much. And actually, that was... I mean, to convince a guy to do that that was pretty good. I don't think you're getting any better. That was probably the best you're going to get. Okay. Because there's a lot of retards. That you can convince. And actually, I mean, you actually did it. So kudos to that there. How's that working for you? Yes. Sounds like a narcissistic injury. Oh, you insulted me. Are you upset? You hurt my feelings. A lot of people don't troll me. Because they, they come to a realization it ain't working. And they, they come to that realization and then they move on to easier targets. Which is why you like retards. Those are easy targets. Do I fucking look retarded to you? No. Fuck with me more. Thank you.
Well, Noodles better live stream the whole time with his hands where we can see them. Because it wouldn't be the first time he's texted people during a live stream. So make sure when you do go live, just keep your hands right here. And don't worry, I'll make sure you're blocked. So that way, you're just wasting your fucking time if Noodles goes live in an hour. You're basically admitting that th this is you. That's how dumb you are. What are you doing? Oh, by the way... We I also know that you gave Leo access to your accounts, so you could just tell Leo to do it. Call Leo, make sure she's awake first. Oh yeah, she's awake at night all the time. I, she used to hang out on my streams all night, remember? Yeah. I'm glad that you have Leo to help do your bidding to fuck with me, because I know she really loves me, right? Yeah, good job. Fuck with me more, because I am the correct person to fuck with. And please leave the retards alone. It's not cool. Actually, no, fuck with retards more. I don't really care. Dyke. Man, hating Dyke. That's why you guys should go talk to her. She sounds like a really great, wonderful person. Go talk to her. I'm going to add a little bit of coconut cream. just fucking admitted he was fucking dude because he's like well if i go live in an hour and leo's messaging you from this account that i gave her access to that'll prove that it's not me wait why would why would he go live in an hour just to prove that it's not you unless that was really him the fuck ha <laughs> ha good
does it sound like the bearings are going out? Well, the only thing he did is uh, it finally admit, which what I kind of thought is he's up to something. That's all it is. Sad, pathetic person. I already knew he was up to something anyway. He's not, I mean, basically just admitted to what he's fucking up to, I guess. Anyways. He must have switched to intimidation mode because maybe he's unsatisfied that trying to uh, get retards to attack me wasn't working, you know, so he had to switch to intimidation mode or something. Let's see how this tastes. Mm, I don't know, something's wrong. Tastes too good. The ice is like... Wow, that tastes really fucking good. Entirely full bags. <laughs> Drink a big bucket of horse piss. <laughs> I don't know. Just sad, pathetic people. That tastes like really fucking good. Wow. It's almost like. And so, well, I've really perfected this. Cat. I don't know what you're going to do, cat, but you're going to have to move. Ugh. Wow, we that tastes fucking good. sit in the freezer a little bit. I have some kind of pomegranate. No, it's elderberry. Elder elderberry shit. It's pretty fucking weak. It says effervescent, but I I don't know what that means. But it it does have like some effervescence to it, but I don't even know what the fuck that means. <laughs>
I don't know, just all, always dumb shit. Stupid people, stupid shit. That's why I'm, I don't know, I'm definitely thinking something ain't right. Because when your friends and your family start acting like these motherfuckers, it gets weird, dude. Cats and grandmas and grandpas and... Now you can tell it's totally lying. Because first of all, for anybody to send him a message, they need his phone number. I don't have his phone number. So, I think I've pinpointed what his little deal is. is he's trying to convince his retards in his chat... This is probably one reason why he likes retards. Is he tries to convince them to stalk other people for him. And he seems to actually be successful with that. So I guess it's a good, it's not a good tactic, but it's a, it's a, tactic that he has been successful with, so. And that's why he says he's helping these people. You're helping them by trying to get them to stalk people for you. Huh. You're helping them by trying to coerce them into stalking people for you. Very interesting. So he's trying to coerce retards into stalking people for him. Which, I, I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's weird tactic, but whatever. Uh, I hope you're successful with that, and, um, I, I, you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat there, dude. Hunter Biden can smoke all the crack he wants. You can, uh, co coerce all the fucking, uh, retards you want. Wonderful planet we're living on right now. Good job. Thank you. You, you don't have much time left, so I don't know. I actually thought we'd probably be uh, worse off right about now. But uh, indicting Donald Trump is definitely part of the program. So we still might be under some slow kill shit. But, you know... The water on the frogs might be 99 degrees. Or what? what's boiling in Fahrenheit? I don't know. 200 or something? I don't fucking know. Two, 220? What, what is it? I don't know. I don't even fucking know. <clears throat> I could Google it. I don't feel like it. That's how dumb I am. I don't even remember what the fuck water boils at. I'd have to go Google it. It's got to be over... What is it, 220 or something? I don't fucking know.
That fucking shit I made was really good, though. <clears throat> wow. That's the best fucking one I've made yet. Hands down. That one... If you serve that to somebody, they'd be like, holy shit! Slap your mama! What the hell did you make? That's good. I mean, that was like fucking 10 out of 10 good. That was slap your mama good. I think I might make a fire. I don't know. That Ashley girl says she's having dreams. I should ask her if the dreams feel intrusive. And ask her if she wants them to stop. I don't know how to make them stop. Not always. I still have some dreams. Lately, they've all been pretty fucked up. She said something about zombies, so I actually went and asked her. I said, I've been talking about zombies for 16 years, and... She replied, and it was pretty interesting. She said, yeah, the zombies are definitely part of it. She's pretty cute. She talks cute. She looks cute. There's a lot of cuteness about her. I don't know what to say about that, though. She has a kid. I don't know if she's got a boyfriend or a husband or what. Most girls have boyfriends and husbands. It's too easy for women to get boyfriends. Women can snap their fingers and have about a hundred boyfriends, depending on the woman. If they're good looking, they ain't having no problem getting guys. And a lot of girls, just they don't really care how men look as long as they do shit they want. I, there's quite a bit where I'll be out and about and I see a cute girl and she's got like a fat, ugly, heifer, retarded looking boyfriend. I don't think it's all of them. I don't think they're all like that, but there's quite a bit where, like you said, they like the ugly boys and shit. Probably why Seasons likes who she does. I, I kind of started telling her, I'm like, it's pretty hard to hide it now there, Season. So you're, you're, you're going to have to uh, stop fucking pretending. And she finally was like, yeah. I don't, I'm not, I, I don't know. I'm not, I don't, I'm not saying she can confess to anything bad, but... She finally somewhat admitted that, yeah, she knows something. She was trying to defend some of it, but not that that's the worst or that bad. That's why I asked a friend what they thought about it, and they said it sounds like low self-esteem. Which would be easy to prey on, which is why I think 
this guy who likes to prey on people's insecurities uh, has fully taken advantage of her insecurities. And it's very successful, which is very shocking. It's not shocking and very shocking. It just shows that people are very easily manipulated. Well, he also aims for people that are more manipulatable, such as retards. That's why he's trying to... So I figured out his little goal there now. He's trying to convince a retard to stalk me. That's basically what he's doing. He's already been successful in that. Dude, that fucking pina colada was fucking good as fuck. Damn, I'm letting it cool down in the fridge. I'm going to have to set a timer or something. And we'll give it 20 minutes. 22, 23. How about 25 minutes? to think about it all because it ain't even just that there's just so much dumb shit i got cats that die my family's fucking dying they're all fucking whacked out i've known about zombies 16 years and i've always wondered when my family if my family would get infected because they weren't infected for quite a long time and i'd always think i wonder when they're gonna get infected well Here lately, yeah. They're definitely infected. So it only happened within the last few years or something. And it sucks bad. It's one thing seeing people turn into zombies. And then it's another to see your family turn. And I always wondered when it was happening. Because I'd always sit there and think, you know, I'm watching everybody turn into zombies. But, you know, I haven't really... Notice that my family's turning, and I thought, well, that's good. And I'd always wonder, huh, I wonder when they're going to get my family. Well, they, they eventually got them. Part of it seems like a good thing. I don't know. Part of it seems bad. Yeah, it just seems like him coming in, I think I've analyzed and come to some conclusion. I don't know if it's right or not, but it seems like the goal of that is to try to coerce one of his retards. So it must not be working for him to come in and say something. It seemed like maybe that failed, so then he had to come here and try to intimidate me with that. And it's like, I don't understand how you're going to go in, tell somebody some lie you made up, and then expect them to believe a lie that you created that you know isn't true. So it also makes me think, is he so fucking out of it? Like, his, his schizophrenia is so bad that he literally believes his own lies or he was just trying to intimidate me. Well, he did come in and talk shit and talk about cupcakes and shit. You know what I mean? 
maybe uh maybe he can find some retard to convince to bother me and the fact he said he would go live to prove it wasn't him because he would give leo access to his account and tell her to come make stupid comments i guarantee you if that happened the comment persona would change instantly like we can't tell your persona the persona of mr gray can leo pretend to be mr gray maybe it's possible by the way your persona i it's i call him mr gray he's a body snatching gray alien and that zombie virus is called the Briss. And it's a virus and it grows on everything. Like mold. It's like mold. Like that mold you see on the walls. That's the Briss. And when you breathe in the spores, it body snatches you and it turns you into Mr. Gray. And so your persona will be Mr. Gray, who is a big-time fucking narcissist. So if you ever want to talk to a gray alien, and one of his uh, forms, 